Hi there, I'm Rhonda and I help makers turn their digital designs into income. On my channel, you'll get quick tutorials, cool tools, and simple strategies to grow your digital product business. If you want daily AI prompts, trend tips, and a fun community that gets it, join us in our AI Profit Society. I left a link in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss a thing. And now, without any further delay, let's get into today's video. Hey everybody, Rhonda here. And um, the other day we did a video, I was showing you how you could take uh, one prompt and take one design and turn it into several different, uh, like these faux designs, these faux embroidery, faux yarn, things like that. And I used this death before decaf design I did. And while I was doing that video, I noticed that the font the text here was messed up and it was not right and I just wanted to show you guys that you know when that happens you don't necessarily have to start from scratch okay you don't have to uh, re-prompt rerun your prompts and use up more credits you can fix that text right here in Canva so I'm just going to add a new page and I'm going to grab the original Okay, this is the original design right here. I'm gonna make it a little bigger. And the first thing I'm gonna do is get rid of the background. I don't want that anyway. But now I need to fix this text. So I'm gonna come over here to edit. And here in the Magic Studio, I am going to go to Magic. I'm gonna go to Grab Text, okay? And what's going to happen is Canva's going to try and find all the text in the design. And it did. It grabbed death, it grabbed before, and it grabbed decaf. So I am just going to click on one, and I'm going to click on another, and I'm going to click on that one too. And I want to grab all of them. So I'm just going to click on grab. And now you can see it grabbed all that text for us. Now, it did leave behind like the shadows from the text, but that's all right. We can get rid of that too. So with the original image selected, we're going to come back to edit. And this time we're just going to go to Magic Eraser. And I'm just going to go along and I'm going to erase all those shadows that were left behind. Okay only takes a second or two to do it just go around and if it left any parts behind you know just put the eraser over them make sure you have them all and then just click erase and now all that junk is gone so we can close out and see we came back here and that looks great now right looks perfect and now with this text here, we can choose another font for it. Uh, let's, we could do Hobo, Candace. I think I'm going to go with this Songbird. Um, unfortunately, that's huge. So we need to make this smaller. And we can also, you know, mess around with our, the way things are laid out. But I got to add that E now. So let me come over here and add the E and I'm going to make this a little bit longer. And now our text is fixed. It says death before decaf. So I'm going to put my ghost back in place and now I'm going to grab all of this. Okay. I'm going to move this here to the center. Okay. Let's move that right there. And now what I think I'm going to do is I want these to be curved. So I'm going to come up here to effects. I'm going to grab the curve, and I don't want it curved that much. I'm thinking right about 45 there, and I'll do the same thing with this one. Okay, and now I'm going to move these around a little. I mean, you do have to, uh, you know, fix things a little once it gives you the text, but it's still better than having to go back and rerun prompts that cost you credits, you know. So I'm also gonna space my lettering just a little bit more, I think. 
There we go. Yeah, that one doesn't look bad now. I mean, that is just... Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I am going to get rid of one of these entirely. And I'm going to add this all into one text box. And we're going to... Oops. We are going to rotate that and we're going to put that right there just like that that looks pretty darn good and now if i want to make it a little bigger i can and this one i'll decide what to do i'm going to make that a little bit bigger too but now our text looks so much better, right? And we have before spelled right. So now what we can do is we can come in here to our color and you know now we have the ability to add gradients, remember, to our text. So we can do whatever we want in here. Let's come back. I'm going to use the same gradient on that as I did on this one. And I want to add the drop shadow. So I'm going to put that all the way up, transparency all the way up, black. And I don't believe I want it. I want it to be just like that. We'll do the same thing here. And there is, we have our drop shadow. Now we can do, you know, you could do the text any way you want. You can find other fonts. This is just one I grabbed real quickly. But what I really wanted to show you is that, you know, if you have a mistake in your text, it's not a big deal. We can fix that easily enough right here in Canva using their grab text and the erase the magic erase. So there we go. So now we have our design fixed. We can, you know, we could come over here and actually let's let's move this over. If I wanted to, I could come in here and I could use these same colors that we used for the uh, font originally in the first design. We could select our gradient, okay, and select our first color. And we could come over here and say we want this as our first color and get rid of the second one and just use, you know, the darker and the lighter. We could also, I think I'm going to go with that one there. You know, we can add some more colors to the gradient if you want. You can get rid of the gradient entirely, and you can change the direction of it so it looks however you want it, okay? So I think I'm going to leave it just like that, and that looks really good. Now, <clears throat> another thing here, uh, let's say we only, we looked at this, we got our design, and we're like, yeah, that's cute, but you know what? All I really want is this ghost holding the coffee cup. I don't really need anything else. So you can go to edit, back here to Magic Studio, come here to Magic Grab, and just click on what you want it to select. So I'm going to click on my ghost here. I'm going to tell it to grab it. And now it has completely removed my ghost for me. It does try to give this a background. Um, I, it didn't do a great job of it, but that's okay. We don't want this anyhow. All we really wanted was our ghost that we can now use in another design if we wanted to. And we could save him so we have him to use later. So I just wanted to show you those two uh, features that you may not have realized were in here or may not have realized that you can repair uh, things like this when it ha when you generate an image and it messes up your text 
Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean you have to start over again and run a new prompt. If you get one that you really liked, you can bring it in here to Canva and fix the text easily enough under uh, the, let's come up here again, let's grab this image, edit, under the Magic Studio, and grab text. All right, so I hope you guys found this video helpful. It was a pretty short one, um, but I hope it was a useful one. If you have any questions, you know, drop them in the comments. And as always, thank you so, so much for watching. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.